Good morning and happy autumn. Today I am here talking about my favorites. I have one makeup item and the rest of the things are just things that have been really making me happy. Also what's been making me happy is I'm going to announce the three winners for my last giveaway and I think I'm just going to get started. I have always, that I can remember, the feel of fabric has always been important to me. And it especially became important to me when I had children. I remember shopping for sleepers and they were hanging up in on racks and I wouldn't even look at it. I would just go by and feel. And when something felt good, I would look at it. And I just appreciate something that feels good on. These pajamas kind of started this whole thing that I'm gonna talk about. I got these last year as a birthday present and they were 70% modal and I think like 25% rayon and 5% spandex. Well, I've always been a fan of the Soma Cool Nights until I felt these. And I think these are from Barefoot Dreams, but that's not what's important. What's important is how it feels and it feels wonderful. And when I looked at modal, it said it was derived from beechwood trees. Well, then I started hearing all about bamboo and I bought some bamboo sheets. I'm gonna get back to this and I love them. In fact, I wash them and put them right back on. I have not purchased another pair, but I hope to. And if any of you have the 100% bamboo sheets, let me know and let me know if you love them as much as I do. I will get another pair. I just haven't felt the need yet because it's just a slacker way to when you do your laundry, just put them right back on, then you don't have to worry about folding them. Well, that put bamboo on my radar. I love pajamas. I like to take a bath, put on my pajamas. When I go to bed, I take the bottoms off. I could, I don't, can't stand to sleep in the bottoms, but I love pajamas. But I didn't have any summer that I was really loving. I wasn't loving my summer pajamas. So in April, I searched for bamboo nightshirts, and I found some that were super expensive. And then I found one that I really liked from Amazon, and I ordered it. And I'm not a good modeler. I mess up my I mess up my tripod every time. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a picture here of what it looks like, and then I'll show you the fabric. I treat my pajamas, my night shirts, as good as I do my clothing. They always go on a hanger. I can't tell you how many times I've washed these. They're short sleeved. The fabric I love. So I wore these a couple of months before I ordered another gown. There was only one thing I didn't like about this. It didn't have pockets. And for some reason, I want pockets. If I see something somewhere, I can just stick it in my pocket and put it away. But I just kind of like pockets. And the fabric was 95% viscose and 5% spandex. And viscose is derived from bamboo. So when I wanted another one, I just put, went to Amazon and I put in nightgown or short nightgown because I wouldn't want anything long. And I put 95% viscose, 5% spandex. And this one came up. And as you can see, it has pockets in the, in the front and I really like it. All the seams are excellent. And with it, when this came in, there were all these claims what it would do. And all I really care about is how it feels and how it washes. And I wash them in the washer and put them into tumble dry for about five or 10 minutes and then hang them up. But it says it's moisture wicking, non-irritating, temperature regulating, environmental advantages because it's made from bamboo. It's sustainable, uber soft, and super fine yarn. I really do like these a lot. In fact, they look so good. If you needed to go run an errand, you could because they, they just look like a dress. So I wanted one more and I ordered a boysenberry. And it's v-neck and it has side pockets. And I kind of like the color. This is an extra large. But anytime I order anything from Amazon, I always get it a size larger. This is an extra, extra large. All three of them are because if they shrink, it's not a problem. And plus, with anything that I sleep in, I don't want it to fit tight. But this one is made just as well. And every time I wear them, Jim gives me a compliment. He likes them. So 
super comfortable, um, pretty affordable, different prices. I think the first time I bought one, it was like $23. And I think the last time I bought one, and these are all from different companies, but I just searched for the fabric content. And I love them, and I'm, I like all the pajamas I own, so I don't know. I may buy a long, one long sleeve, but I may not. The one makeup product I am going to talk about that I really do like is the IT CC Nude Glow. I've tried it twice. I haven't put like something on one side and something on the other side, but I just used one pump, and I just do kind of the middle of my face and go out. And I, I like it really well. I haven't like looked at it. I've had it on for probably about an hour and a half and I forgot to look at myself before I came here. But I, I like it. I would repurchase it. It has a 40 SPF. It's called a Brightening Glow Serum. I got mine in light beige. I got it with the Today's Special Value. I'll look and see if they have any more Today's Special Values left and I'll link it below. Anything that I link below I will have an opportunity to make a commission. I want you to know that. If but I, if I type something on the screen, that is just for your benefit and it is not anything that, that is eligible for commission. I like that it is so much uh, sheer than the CC Plus cream. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, try to do a side by side of me last time when I didn't have any makeup on and see if it makes any difference because I'm really not sure. But I do like it. I had told you they were changing around my thyroid medicine and some of my heart medicine, and it was important for me to quit taking biotin because it, there's a couple of lab tests that it can kind of mess up, and thyroid is one of them. So I, I've taken Armour Thyroid forever, forever, and I've tried to change to just the Levo, the generic, and I did not do well on it at all. So I'm back on the Armour Thyroid, my hair, I could not tell any difference. I mean, it's been since February, and I couldn't tell any difference, but I think the biotin might have helped my nails. I've never had really good nails. The only time I've had good nails is when I used this product from Sally Hansen, and either I forgot what product I used, or they don't make it anymore. But my nails were so brittle and so short that I did not have, I needed some nails just to be able to open something. They would just break off and splinter and and they weren't very good at all. So I used up what I had left of this and I ordered another one. So now I have two of them, this one's empty. And it didn't do anything and it used to work for me. And I thought, well, I guess nothing's gonna work. So I was just looking up and trying to find something and I found something from OPI, and it's called Nail Envy, and it is the original nail strengthener, and it did help a lot. I have actually, I have some nails, and I can, I, I don't, I don't like long nails. I don't really even like putting anything on my nails. I don't like even the clear stuff. I like, I put oil, and you know, I have really good cuticles but my nails were really messed up. I know one of these days I will probably start drinking collagen, but for some reason, I have been really reluctant to start. I've got really good bones. I don't know if it's a slacker in me or what, but I, in fact, I bought a container of it and I just never did try it. And Jim wouldn't try it, but one, one of these days, I'll let you know if I ever do, but I don't know. If you have anything that you use on your nails, <laughs> I want a quick fix, let me know. This is $19.95, which isn't terrible because I've been using it a couple of months. You put a, you're put supposed to put a coat on every day, then take it off after seven days. I usually put two coats on and then maybe the next day do a coat and I take it off. And that's something else I want to talk about, what I use to take it off. When I ordered that from Ulta, I also ordered some Ulta fingernail polish remover, and the first time I used it, I thought, oh my gosh, this scent is overwhelming. It can't be good for me at all, but I went ahead and used it, and then I was watching Cheryl from Free Range Diva, and if you don't watch Cheryl, you need to add her. I'll make sure I link her channel below. She's just a joy, and she is knowledgeable, and she, and she mentioned a clean nail polish remover from Mineral Fusion, and it works great. 
it, I thought, you know, if it's not bad for you, <laughs> that it probably wasn't going to work, but it did. So I want to thank Cheryl for this, and I ordered this from Amazon. As soon as she mentioned it, I clicked on her link, and I got it, like, the next day or the next day, and I will continue using this. Well, what I'm showing you next, I bought two and a half years ago, and I've been almost embarrassed to show it to you because, but I decided I'm not going to because I use it a lot. And it's from Hamilton Beach, and it's an egg cooker. And it'll poach eggs. I've never done that before. But I use this one, and I do six deviled eggs. It'll do seven deviled eggs. I'll tell you what I don't like about it. What I didn't like about it is there wasn't any way I could read any of You're supposed to put so much water for how many eggs. So what I do, I always do six hard-boiled eggs at a time. I have not done well using an air fryer. I know a lot of my friends use air fryers, but I just haven't. But I just put the water, I figured it out one time and, and just use one of these cups and I put for six hard boiled eggs and I just fill this up to here, put my eggs in, put my water on in it, turn the timer on and the minute it's done, it will go make a sound. And you don't have to boil water, which is not hard, but that heats up your kitchen. Plus you kind of have to watch it, you know, and turn it down and, but as soon as it's done, I put it in like ice water. And then when I want to eat the egg, I hit it three times on one end, three times on the other, and roll it three times, and the peel just comes off completely under running water. So I've had it for two and a half years. I think it was 20 some dollars, and I use it often, and I like it. In fact, when I used it last time, Jim said, have you ever told your friends on YouTube about that? And I said, no, but I think I will now. I love the Built Puffs. The Built Bars are are good. They take longer to eat. They don't taste, they taste kind of like candy, but they're not like a candy bar, and these are like a candy bar. But in the Built Puffs, they just keep getting better and better. This is a Built Double Peanut Butter. It's covered in a peanut butter cream, and I like the texture, I like the flavor. This one I did not think I'd like. I ordered two boxes of those, and I ordered, later I ordered two boxes of these. These are the cotton candy. They have the white chocolate on the outside, and it really did taste like cotton candy. And later I ordered two boxes. And the reason I ordered two boxes that is at a time is I don't have to pay shipping and handling. But do you know that one bar, even by ordering two and not paying shipping and handling, it's two dollars and fifty one cents a piece, and that just I'm worth it, but I think it's kind of expensive, but again, like I said, I'm worth it. I enjoy it. It's like a candy bar. It doesn't bother my stomach like a lot of the the sweeteners that sugar free candy it will oh it'll make my stomach hurt. It doesn't do that, but it seems like every new flavor that they've come out with in the puffs has been better than the ones before. They've really got that consistency down. I mean, they are processed food. I mean, I, I try to eat really good whole foods most of the time. And then when I want something sweet, I get, I, t I have one of these. I, this one has 17 grams of protein, 150 calories, and seven grams of carbohydrate. So, I like them and they don't make me crave another one. And even using my 10% discount code on what I ordered, it's still $2.51. Sometimes they have sales and if you've ever ordered from them before, they'll send you an email. So just thought I'd let you know that. Now I'm gonna talk about TV. Haven't talked about TV in a while. I'm somebody who does not, and the only thing I remember, I remember good concerts, but I'm not good about remembering books that are fiction, anything on television that is fiction, but if it is true or history or science, I'm really good about remembering it. I just think a long time ago, my brain thought, well, you can't remember everything, so let's just let you forget about all the fiction. I'm leading up to something Jim and I watch together, which is unusual. We don't usually watch too much of the same things. I like a good series. I like to have something to look forward to the next day, watch an episode, and then enjoy it the next day. Well, when it was on TV, I watched the series Justified. 
and I was really impressed with it. There were a few things that I remembered. I remembered how it ended. I remembered this woman named Mags Bennett. I remember a man named Only Boyd, and I remembered Mr. W Limehouse. And really, that's about all that I remembered. So it was like all new to me. When I watched it, I loved it so much because of all the fabulous characters they have and how everything looks so realistic. I, I know I've talked about this before. My dear friend, Pat, God rest her soul, she, I got her to watch it and she loved it so much. When she bought a place out in the country, for, she named her Ranch Justified. Well, Jim and I watched all five seasons of Justified so we really, Jim enjoyed it. It took him about four episodes to kind of get into it and look forward to it. But, you know, as the characters evolve, that's what makes it so interesting. So I was going to keep the Hulu app long enough to watch those five seasons. And when I come in the bedroom at night, I always want to watch something. I want to have something I'm watching. And in this order, I watched The White Queen, The White Princess, and then Spanish Princess. And the first two were all about the War of the Roses, the White Rose versus the Red Rose, and you know the Tudors, House of Tudor versus the House of Lancaster. It uh, it was so interesting to me. I, I'm glad I didn't live in those times. I'm so glad I didn't live in those times. That it was very interesting. It took me a few months to get through all of them, and then now I have canceled Hulu. Some time ago, probably a year ago, I had mentioned that I had HBO, now they call that Max, and I watched The Gilded Age. Well, I know in October they're going to start re-upload, they're going to start the second series, and as soon as all those are already on and available, I'm going to sign up for Max so I can watch season two of The Gilded Age. I enjoyed that a lot. So if you all have anything that you like on HBO or Max, let me know because I will be getting that. But what I do is I sign up for it, and the same day that I sign up for for it to be started, I will go in and I will cancel it. So that means I will have it exactly one month. And if I'm still like with the Hulu, I, we were watching, still watching this series, I went ahead and before it was supposed to go off, I went ahead and renewed it for another month. So that's my tip for the day. Okay, now I'm gonna announce the winners of my giveaway. and. I will put my video up here, so if you win and you can't remember what was in your giveaway, you can just go back and look, but they're all good ones. They are all good ones. And I did subscribe to Random Comment Picker because I wanted to be able, you know, the words I tell you to use. The words were Card, BK Beauty, and Sydney Grace. So I really thought, well, I'll subscribe, and then I could change the color of my little thing, but it still won't give me the whole note. I don't know what's going on about this. But I put the word Card in, and the first name that popped up was Hutoxie. Congratulations, Hutoxie. I hope I said your name right. The second, I put Sydney Grace and wanted to go, it had it go through all the comments that anyone that mentioned Sydney Grace. And the name that popped up is Raspberry Beret. And I bet she is a Prince fan. Congratulations. And the last one was BK Beauty. And the name that popped up for BK Beauty is Sheila M. So if these are your comments and you are the people that I that I mentioned, just make sure you leave a comment below and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. And I will be back either October 8th or October 22nd. It is all good. It really is. And I appreciate you more than you'll know. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. You could. I mean, if you had your underwear. You so the first time I, well, no, I didn't. I, oh, okay, I love, well, I sure like that dress on you, and I'll say, well, and I love it, and I'm going to put pictures, that's the 20 discount code, oh yeah, 